Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com uh, coming at you with 2019-2020 Panini Revolution Basketball Chinese New Year Edition 8 box, random team number 5. One spot gets you two teams, so let's double you up. And there are all the teams right here. Part, part of this schedule right here, ladies and gentlemen, so that's what we're starting with. We've got a full night tonight already. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Six and a four, ten times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. After ten times, we got Kurt down to Roy. If I can get all those names, Kurt down to Roy, there we go. Ten times for the teams. Two, three, four. And 10th and final time. All right, we got Nuggets, Denver Nuggets, all the way down to the Milwaukee Bucks after 10. All right, so... Kurt with the Nuggets, Aaron with the Knicks, Tom with the Wizards, Aaron with the Raptors, on with the Jazz, Matthew with the Rockets, Aaron with the Celtics, on with the uh, Hornets, Tyler with the Grizz, on with the Pelicans, nice Grizz and Pelicans right next to each other, Kurt, Warriors, JC with the Sixers, this is 1920 edition, right, yeah, JC with the Sixers, on with the Heat and the Pacers, Michael with the Blazers, Roy with the Clippers, on with the Nets, Aaron with the Mavs, on with the uh, Hawks, Tyler with the Kings, Michael with the Pistons, Steve with the Magic, JC with the Bulls, Steve with the Timberwolves, on with the Spurs, Matthew with the Lakers, on last spot, Mojo, star next to your name, OKC, Tom with the Cavs, on with the Suns, and Roy with the Milwaukee Bucks. Nice, so let's alphabetize by team right here. And we're gonna pause the video and allow for some trading time, and when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around, be right back. And we're back, folks. Thanks for hanging on if you're watching live. If you're watching the replay, it was an instantaneous edit. Um, there you go, so there were no trades, not even not even trade chatter. There it is. And we got our schedule locked up and everything too. So here on Wednesday the 3rd, thanks everyone for getting into the action. We really appreciate it. So Revolution Basketball, the same exact configuration as the regular one, but this special edition here features those New Year parallels. So that's what we're looking for. Just like regular Revolution, the autos are few and far between, but if we find them, they're usually, I think they're all on card if we find any. And they stay, they're usually pretty nice. All right, so there you go. Good luck, everybody. All card chip in Revolution. So many different short prints and parallels. We gotta, we gotta ship everything. It's a lot like Select, where we ship all Select stuff. Same deal. Box number one. Good luck, everybody. All right, so these are the New Year parallels right here. These are just the regular hits. So those are these those are exclusive to the set. Now, sometimes you'll see a green background to it, which I think is the out of eighty-eight. 
And then I think the gold background may be out of eight. So the gold background is really what is what would be cool to look for. It's Julio Okafor. Obviously you're looking for John Morant and Zions too. Marcus Saul. Jordan Poole. These, Le these LeBron Jameses also do well in a secondary market, believe it or not. There's a John Morant as well. go so Grizzlies Tyler Kish got randomized the Grizz so he'll get those and who has my Lakers Matthew Shira has my Lakers so he'll get that LeBron James Alright, box two, good luck. Next one here, Revolution Random Team at number five from jazpiescasebreaks.com. Thanks everyone for getting in. Here's LeBron. More of the New Year parallel, Pascal Siakam. And look at this, John Morant New Year parallel. That's pretty strong for Tyler Kish. Got randomized the Grizz. Nice. Someone look that up. What do, what what does that what does that go for on the market these days? Brooke Lopez. Hey, you're welcome, Tyler. Thanks for getting in. Miles Bridges, New Year. We've got an Isaiah Roby. LeBron James, New Year. Gallinari. Bol Bol. Son Whiteside. Terry Rozier. The LeBron parallel going to Matthew Shearer and my Lakers. Nice. Is uh is basketball is all but all but back on track, right? Has anything been made official yet? I I want to say. It's super close, or maybe it has been made official and we're just working on dates and details, but it's, it's, it's pretty close.
Does anyone have any updates on that NBA situation? What's the word? There's Admiral Schofield. And there's Brandon Clark, our first out of 88. 85 out of 88. So you can see that greenish look right there. Brandon Clark going to Tyler Kish. There you go. All the depot. Joel Embiid for the Sixers. Blake Griffin. And another 37 out of 88, Victor Oladipo. Dante says, looks like it's a go. So it's going to involve 13 teams from the West and nine teams from the East. Right, and they, what, they, are they playing a handful of regular season games? I think that was, the, these plans change all the time, so I'm not sure what the, what the latest is. There's another Brandon Clark. Ooh. And a nice Zion Williamson New Year. There's one for the Pels. And it'll be for on. I think there's a tiny bit of a regular season, right? Almost almost as like a warm-up and then just rock right into the playoffs. It's a great case so far. And another Laker for Matthew Shearer, another LeBron James. And it'll be it'll be good to have some some live sports back. There's Kyle Lowry, especially of the, the big major sports. Derrick Rose, New Year. Marvin Bagley, New Year. Jamal Murray, New Year. Huh, Radical is saying NBA allowed six regular season games leading into the playoffs. All right. That sounds pretty good. Sean Mandel saying possibly all regular season games being played in Orlando as well. I think that is, well, again, I don't know. The plan seemed to, it's everything so fluid. I thought everything was going to be in that Orlando bubble. But we'll see. They got Jordan bad to the bone. More LeBron James. Damian Lillard. Jamar DeRozan. DeAndre Hunter. Nice Luka Doncic. Even these second year Luka Doncic cards have carried a little extra weight. Weight and value. It's your little New Year. Oh, that's Julius Randle. All right, that Luka Doncic, Aaron Billingsley with that New Year parallel Luka Doncic. And another LeBron James for Matthew Shear and my Lakers. Halfway through this break, ladies and gentlemen. Schedule's in the chat if, that's, if you're looking for that. 
This is random team break number five from Jaspi's case breaks.com. Ah, Dante going straight to the source. I like that from Woj. 22 teams to Orlando. Eight regular season games per team. Play in for the eight seeds starting July 31st going through October 12th. All right. All right, I'm okay with that. So what? So basically, all right. And so now NBA teams can start getting their players back. I think most NBA teams have their players scattered all over the place, especially the international players. Gives them a chance to come back, you know, get whatever visa stuff they need to do, can get back into the country. Maybe do a little little warming up, get their legs back. And then go with, uh, and then get launch into it. All right, should be an exciting, frantic run to the finish. Aaron Gordon for the Orlando Magic. Steve with that one. Yeah, baseball. I'm worried about radical. Trying to play till October 31st. Regular season games and yeah. I don't. I don't know. Nice Kobe White New Year. Yeah, baseball is concerning me. Jay Crowder, which I think is going to be a bad look for baseball. All the other leagues are major. The big four leagues. NBA seems to be on track. Players and owners working well together. There's Lonzo. You know, NHL coming back. They, players and owners seem to be on the same page. Soccer coming back. And the major league soccer, MLS. And the European leagues all coming back. They seem to be on top of things. You know, at least at least for goodwill purposes, but a lot of animosity between the players and owners in baseball, which is making it extremely tricky and probably not good for not probably not good for baseball. To be honest with you. At the end of the day. If they're the ones that can't Baseball is the one that can't get their act together. Yeah, well, David DLP asking, so if the if the NBA season digs into mid to late October, then what happens with the next season? Yeah, I think they're just taking October and November off. And most teams will be off anyway, right? Playoffs, only a handful of teams left. But I think it's just... October, November, December off, and then they just start in January, something like that. I think that's one of the pro one of the proposals that I heard was that if it see, if this season goes late, then the next season is either shortened a little bit or just you kind of have a compacted schedule that starts in January, or you just have the playoffs go a little bit later into the summer, and then you then you're back to normal with a slightly shorter off season for some teams, but. But yeah, I think it does impact next season as well. Or yeah, maybe maybe you open a season on Christmas Day. Really, the teams that are the most impacted would be would be like the teams that are in the last two rounds of the NBA playoffs, right? Lakers, Clippers, Bucks, Raptors, maybe so on and so forth. But the rest of the team should be somewhat well rested. And sort of the schedule's a little all over the place, but but I think the players themselves should be should be able to adjust. There's Kevin Durant. There's Town Horton Tucker. Radical saying you found a love for NASCAR for it being the only sport you can watch at the moment. Yeah, Na I mean I've always enjoyed NASCAR, but I like the I like the sort of midweek NASCAR races they've been trying. I've been I haven't been following too closely, but I like catching it when it's on. T 
TJ is in the house. He's saying, I'm not a betting man, but I would not put any money on baseball starting. I hope he hopes he's wrong. Yeah. I know. Every 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 day that goes by, I get more and more worried. I was already worried about it, but I thought I would be proven wrong, but Uh, there's the Kawhi Leonard for the Clippers, Roy, with that one. More Luka Doncic for Aaron Billingsley. All of these add up. Two more box to go, ladies and gentlemen. Two boxes to go, boys and girls. Schedule is in the chat if you're looking for that. We are booked up for the night. Everything is sold out, but Jason will be going live with uh, personal boxes uh, soon on Instagram, at Jaspies Rakes. So be sure to keep an eye on that because there will be plenty to do there. Dante, I want to say it counts. I think they're literally one-year deals, calendar year deals, not season deals, you know? So I'm pretty sure that everybody on expiring one-year deals are now free agents. This is the same thing in baseball. Mookie Betts could not spend a regular season game on the diamond with the Dodgers. If the season's canceled, then he hits the open market again. So it could kind of blow everything up, especially on the, a lot of one-year deal guys, et cetera, et cetera. All right, there's Steph Curry, New Year. Romeo Langford, New Year. Save some Giannis's too. Nikhil Alexander-Walker. Giannis, Bucks, Roy. So in all of our 1920 basketball product, vet base like Giannis, LeBron, I guess Luka Doncic is considered a vet too, second year. Those will all ship. Kobe Bryant. I know. <laughs> all those people who bought like $150 Mookie bets Dodger jerseys. Cam Reddish, two out of eight. Nice. Kind of hard to see the gold, but you can see it right there. The gold in the middle. That's awesome. Atlanta Hawks on. Two out of eight. Cam Reddish. Well, I don't think we've even seen his final form yet. There's Karis LeVert. He's got a lot of room to grow, both as a player and in hobby value, along with Bruno Fernando and his other teammates. There's Steven Adams. All right, next one. What happens to all the other base? Everything ships in this. Everything ships. I'm just top loading right now some of the more more significant hits, but everything will go. And all the other New Year parallels will be sleeved and top loaded as well. But just in the interest of time, I'm gonna let the sorting and shipping team do that. Oh, vet, vet like veteran commons that we don't ship in general? That we end up selling out of our shop when whenever we're back open again we we collect like uh we have like 500 count boxes I mean 200 count and we uh just put a mix of vet commons in there sell it to people and all the proceeds from those sales will go to a few charities that we support including uh including make a wish LA's best which is a after school program that we support here. So that's what we do with those. Sometimes they get donated to 
I know, we do all sorts of things. And sometimes they get donated to teachers. We want to use them for, for classroom projects. They have a good specific classroom project. There's been times where we sold monster boxes of these, nice Zion, New Year, and then donate all at once and someone will come in and want to buy all that and they'll donate all that money to charity too. All right, there's Zion Williamson, New Year for the Pelicans, on with that one. Derek Rose, more Zion. We got Admiral Schofield. Ola Depot New Year. We got Kyle Lowry New Year. We've got Goga Batadze New Year. Marvin Bagley New Year. We got Miles Turner New Year. Cody Martin. I don't know, probably probably a curfew warning. 88, Christos Porzingis. Where's my phone? Did I get one? Yeah, it's just curfew stuff. Curfews. Curfews. All right, 49 out of 88. Christos Porzingis, Aaron, with the ca uh, Mavs. That is not Cavs, Mavs. Dante saying maybe it was the Red Sox plan all along, get a haul for him, then end up bringing him back when he hits free agency. The Reds, like, that's like the dark, dirty, dark secret. The Red Sox orchestrated all of this. All right, there you go. There you have it. That was eight box, random team number five, 2019-2020 Panini Revolution Basketball, Chinese New Year edition. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.